Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Pony Cast. It's the only show that is on a boat, in the water, on a boat, in the water, on a boat. And in this episode, we're talking about the episode of Season 7, Episode 22... 23. 23? Crap. Secrets and Pies. What if I got the episode <laughs> number wrong, and the next thing you heard was just a fucking shotgun going <laughs> off? <laughs> we got to put you down. This horse is... is we're putting, last... putting him out to pasture. The last episode of the Ponycast, it lasted like five seconds. Okay, <laughs> so we're all dead now. This episode is called Secrets and Pies, and it was a Pinkie Pie slash Rainbow Dash episode. Yeah. And, um... This, this was, um... This was toddler food. This was baby food. I feel, I feel <laughs> like this was... They, 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 they <clears throat> thought, like, I, I don't know when this happened. I'm not really sure when Pinkie Pie became... Like, the, the character for babies, like, when nothing about, like, she used to be so interesting. Yeah. But now she she's been episodes... devolved to, like, just the wacky faces. Yeah, Pinkie Pie had some, like, really deep and introspective episodes, you know, like, seasons ago. Like, in season four, or, like, the first four seasons. And uh, she just doesn't seem to get those chances to be, like, a real character that much anymore. Yeah, it's it's a shame because like a lot of this episode is like, oh yeah, I get it, I get it, but they go over it over and over again, uh, so that they can have Pinkie Pie make exaggerated uh, wacky faces that make the kids chuckle. And, and why did she like making pies so much in this episode? She's never been a. She's like she likes cakes. She likes making cakes more than pies. She likes cupcakes and shit. I mean, her She's... name is Pinkie Pie. I guess they. They're, they're, like, retroactively saying, oh, yeah, she makes pies constantly for years. You just never see it. I guess. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, the, this the... episode, uh, the... It was a very simple moral that you could say in, like, five seconds, and there wouldn't need to be an episode. It's just, like, the idea that by keeping secrets to spare Pinkie Pie's feelings, Rainbow Dash accidentally ends up hurting your feelings even worse, which is such a kind of a, an obvious moral for a kids show that it's kind of surprising that it happened now in season 7 and not season 1 like it seems like they would have gotten yeah. to this moral earlier like like some people I remember like in the old review bro analysis days people would uh, complain about the morals being um, you know too simple and it's like yeah that's you know, they they but they were complaining about it because of like continuity reasons. Like, oh, they learned that lesson already, and I don't really mind that too much because uh, you know, it's it's fine. But like, the the kids who watched the Pony Show would have grown up. I guess they're trying to like keep episodes like this in because they assume new babies will be watching every every season. So yeah. like, I I get it, but like. You could teach a baby a complex <laughs> trick. You can you can teach him how to yeah. do a backflip if you know. It's, it's like uh, I remember when the series sort of did away with the sending a letter at the episode at the at the end of the episode gimmick, and the episodes kind of seemed to get more complex from that point on for a little while, and that was cool. Yeah, but the the point of this episode is Pinkie Pie makes pies for Rainbow Dash, and Rainbow Dash doesn't like him, and lies about it over and over again. Um, <laughs> I don't know any of what I just said or why I said it, by the way. It sounded like I was complaining, and I didn't mean to be. Or did I? I don't know. Man, uh, this guy, this show sucks. <laughs> this fucking pony shit. It's yeah. not good. It's not very good. I mean, right. First half of the episode is Pinkie Pie starts to get, like, gather evidence that Rainbow Dash doesn't like the pies because she's never seen her eat the pies. And, you know, very elaborate, very uh, over-the-top. Uh, she talks to Gummy, very funny. Uh, I'm, lo I'm chuckling right now as I speak about it. Um, I can hear you chuckling. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's, you know, gathering all the evidence. The, the, the thing that just annoys me more than... You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting bent out of shape about it. It's just a, you know, one of those things. Is that she just doesn't speak to Rainbow Dash until way later. Like she, she meets Rainbow Dash before, like when she has this idea that Rainbow Dash is not eating her pies and maybe she doesn't like him. Oh no! Instead of confronting her, then uh, she, she hatches a plan 
to catch her in the act. I don't know why she needs to do that when she's done all this research gathering. This show <laughs> fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This show's bad. <laughs> I don't even like it. Yeah, I don't like this show. It's not a good one. I've been to hell, and it lives in hell, and I live in hell at the bottom of a shitter. Oh, the ship. We're on a ship. We're pirates. But I don't like TV shows. They stink. This TV sucks. I'm throwing it overboard again. <laughs> 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 Why are half the episodes of this show like an actual podcast, and the <laughs> other half are just complete train wrecks? Because, because half the episodes of My Little Pony are incredible, and the other half are complete train wrecks, like this one. What do you say about this? Oh, it's bad. Okay. Yeah, Gr like, I mean, what you just said. Rainbow Dash doesn't like the pies... That's the whole plot, and it goes on for 20 minutes! <laughs> they just stretch it out, and it's just... Rainbow Dash is, ri is a real bitch, by the way. The, the, <laughs> the fact that she lies so much about it, and she's so, like, completely like, Oh, oh, but uh, I, uh, like, she, she, she gets confronted, and then she starts, like, lying continually. Yeah, she comes off like one of those compulsive liars that, that, that nobody likes because they're psychotic. And I don't know if that was the intention, but that's how it seemed. Yeah, it just yeah, made even it just. When she got caught. She it just was, like still. Yeah, it just it just made it all the more silly and like not satisfying when she was forgiven at the end. I was like, oh, you only lied to me over and over again for years because you liked seeing me like uh, being happy, like a false happiness. Yeah. That I how was dare being given. you spare my feelings for years? How dare you choke down my disgusting pies that you don't even like just just to make me feel good? It's How just... dare you care about my feelings? But like, Pinkie Pie makes more than pies, and Rainbow Dash likes her cakes, so why not just make cupcakes? If you don't like yeah, the pies, the say that, and then the have her make cupcakes instead. Yeah, who was this written by? Someone who just like came on the show and it's like, oh, it's Pinkie Pie. She's the one that likes pies, right? And he wrote an episode <laughs> about it, like. Yeah, she makes other food. Everyone eats her damn cakes and shit. Well, now I'm mad. Now I'm darn tootin'. <laughs> this this episode is a zero out of ten. <laughs> it's not good for me. It's not good for anybody. I wouldn't recommend it. Just consult your doctor before consuming this episode. This episode is a cigarette. It'll fucking kill ya. And it is bad. You know what? There was one part that I liked. There was, like, one line that I thought was interesting or human. And it's where Rainbow Dash is sad and complaining because Pinkie Pie is, is mad at her. And she says, fucking, uh, she won't let me apologize, so what am I supposed to do? And that was just kind of, like, relatable. Like, that's a bad situation to be in when someone is so mad that you, like, you feel bad and you try to apologize, but, like, they won't even hear it. So then it's like it feels like what the hell do you do then? That's yeah. That's like a that's like a real feeling that you could teach to children, and how to and how to do, like prepare children that you'll feel this way someday. That could have been like a a broader yeah. part of the episode. They could have stretched that sentiment out for a, a little while instead of just making it about well she doesn't like the fucking pies. Eesh. Yeah. And then like, at the it, end it, she she eats she makes. Something she makes like an Ed Ed and Eddie like like monstrosity. Yeah, I think the joke is that she's so bad at making pies herself that she made a fucking monstrosity. But like, how do you make that unless you're making it on purpose? She just went in the sewer and scooped up a bunch yeah. of shit. <laughs> at first, I thought it was gonna be like something sweet, like oh, she went into the trash to get the original pie, and she was. That's gonna what eat I thought that. it was too. She like she gathered up all the pies she threw away over the years, and that's why it looked like trash. That makes more sense. That's almost what they animated, but the script didn't reflect it for some reason. Like, they decided at the last minute that would be too gross, so they changed the lines to, like, I can't get the old pies, so I made a new one, and it just happens to look like garbage and shit. 
Yeah. And then she basically, like, blackmails Pinky into forgiving her. Like, either forgive me, or else I'm going to do serious damage to my own health by ingesting this clearly poisonous swampy shit. And then Pinkie Pie is like, "Oh God, I can't watch you do that. That just that's stupid. Stop!" It's like, 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 please forgive me. I've got this noose right here. If you don't forgive me, I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna use it. Is that the moral? If someone, if someone won't forgive you, you just threaten them. <laughs> threaten to commit suicide, and then, then it's all. Fine. I guess that works. I guess that's one way to deal with your problems. I don't know. You know? My little pony. My little pony. My little pony. Uh, da, da, da. My you know there's little like five pony. Equestria Girls movies now. <laughs> yeah, you were saying how does how did they do that? I, I I they they did the first one. They did Rainbow Rocks. There's Rainbow Rocks. Then there was one where they were camping, and there's there's one and where then Dead Man's and Chest, Jack. and then and then uh, there's a pirate one too. No, I was I was oh, I was okay. making like like parallels to Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean, because the first Equestria Girls is clearly the best one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I thought Rainbow Rocks was. Good. No, no, I Rainbow think... Rocks is good, uh, in terms of being better than the first one. And I can't remember what happened in the third one. They played sports. Yeah. Well, it's just such a weird and like bad spinoff. Yeah. And it's so weird how it comes out in movies, but like once every couple of months. I don't understand it at all. But this one, I watched like uh, the I think like the fifth movie in the series, and it's like they all forget Sunset, so Sunset goes back to the Pony World. So like half the movie is back in the Pony World, and it's almost like what the hell? I forgot this show was even part of the Pony canon, and now so she's like Sunset is in her pony form, hanging out with Pony Twilight and talking to Celestia for like half the movie, and it's like, are they gonna tell anyone that they made that there's an episode of My Little Pony that people don't know about because it's jammed into an Equestria Girls movie, like the fifth movie? They suddenly remember that they're ponies. Holy shit! That was my mind fuck for the day. Yeah, it's my like exciting that, life. That, that, like, I mean, it's cool. Definitely, that they would have like, uh, you know, an, an acknowledgement of like the actual, mo- like, because the, the the My Little Pony movie that came out, it was the, the ponies, but it, and a, in a movie, what we wanted out of Equestria Girls, what everybody was craving, instead of Equestria Girls, but it was like a weird Disney strange thing that was a bit over a bit overdone and and too much of a big adventure, and there's a lot of crazy animation in it. And it was alright. But we are, everyone just wanted, like, you know, ponies in the Equestria Girls thing. Now they have it, but, like, I thought the point of Equestria Girls being humans is, like, they were tapping into that doll market thing. Why would they change that? Maybe it didn't take off. Maybe nobody bought the stupid dolls. Maybe they kept buying pony dolls. Maybe. May fucking be. One thing's for sure. I sure do want all those fucking club-footed jaundiced sluts to take out their cunts and fucking... Slap them around. Fucking slap them around and fucking scissor each other. Those fucking disfigured fucking off-colored mutant bimbo (laughs) prostitutes from Dimension X taking off their smelly fucking panties and shitting in each other's mouths. This is a My Little Pony podcast. (laughs) All about (laughs) fucking outer dimensional demon sluts who shit too much. They shit too (laughs) much for ponies. So they go to the human world and shit even more. Oh, (laughs) fuck. (laughs) I think we I think we should have cut like like a hundred times before this point. Yeah, how long have we been talking? Like it feels like it's been four hours. Uh, uh, uh secrets and pies. Uh, c- uh, bad. Uh, zero out of ten. Uh, go go to mylilpony.com. Find the writer and dox them and uh, harass them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, somebody's no. already done it.
<laughs> Somebody's already done it. I, uh, it was a joke. It was a no. silly joke on a pony podcast. I didn't mean it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Fucking he's uh... abandoned shit. <laughs> I like I like the train wrecks. They they they, they <laughs> give the show character. <laughs> if it was just a normal pony podcast, nobody would tune in. <laughs> <laughs>